want to make about women in Ukraine at times of war. I am at work and we have some urgent deadlines to meet and so you will have see some footage of how we work and then we had some lunch break with sushi. <laughs> towards us but they were shut down before arriving to Lviv. I think there were three rockets on the way to Lviv. And also we don't have electricity at home so it's very convenient for us to be at work. We have generator here and nice care of uh, people here and we have a fireplace at work thanks to our boss and guys that work with us who do this for us. Uh, and so what are options for women in Ukraine at times of war? Uh, we there are over there are different numbers but there are over 14 million refugees now arriving uh, overseas leaving ukraine we are on a train to to Rotslav. it's all sitting sitting in chairs so uh, yeah it's uh, seven hours and they mostly come to neighboring country, mainly Poland or Czech Republic or Hungary uh, and also some go to USA or Canada and now the process of getting your documents more is more simplified and actually uh, my friends, friends of friends, I've heard stories where they got visas. And once again I want to say that men cannot leave the country. So men cannot leave the country uh, specific ages that they are not allowed to leave some can leave if they have over two children or if they have some special documents but only a few of them and I've seen many of them at the border who's been sent back they cannot cross so this is just the reality that only women can escape what happens when you cross the border you are I've been treated very well by the guards in Ukraine and also in another country and also there are uh, phone numbers they are available and you can call it to get psychological help and whatever help you need or get your uh, documents so you will be officially refugee and also when I just crossed Polish border first time first days of war there were tea and different types of support for us so also me traveling several times to Poland I've seen a lot of help and a lot of support and Wroclaw where I've been a few days ago there it's just beautiful city of a really nice supportive country and I, I was walking there and I'm sure refugees are walking around there and they're thinking what a beautiful life people have and they can come back and build also beautiful life in Ukraine once the war is over you can see some uh, footage of Wroclaw it's really beautiful and <laughs> there's a goat um, yeah I will not say about this but uh, yeah there are maybe up to 20 Nobel Prize winners from Rotslo uh, that are worth, some of them are really interesting, worth uh, studying about. <laughs>
family in Wroclaw during Ukrainian Christmas and uh, my uh, my family took me out took us out to restaurants all of us and we had nice uh, time together and also I researched activities and I saw that there were concerts given by um, Kharkiv uh, musicians and some uh, posters, uh, pro-Ukrainian posters, so that was interesting. Another option for women, Ukrainian women, is to stay in Ukraine as I am back and I'm staying in Ukraine uh, and uh, I just have uh, opportunity to dream about the beauty that will surround me after the war is over and after people gather all this experience from going overseas uh, and learning from all the other countries and bring it back to Ukraine and I can now this warms me up the future that we will have uh, and also now you will see interview with me and Eugene she has a husband and she decided not to leave Ukraine because she's not gonna leave her husband so there are such options also women who are staying behind so with Eugene we discussed about the power of prayer and how we can uh, just Stay stable, stay calm, and with prayer, and being here in Ukraine, uh, being supportive of our husbands and our families, we can um, just uh, survive like this in a country that is at war. Now we are having coffee and the generator turned off. Yes. Or they have uh, run out of gasoline, we don't know, however, <laughs> It's quite romantic. <laughs> well, we are in a shopping center that has no light, it's working on a generator now. But uh, can you tell me, share um, how, how, how you prayed for a soldier who was at the steelworks as well? ...into Olenivka prison. And you know about uh, the terrorist act committed by the Russians on Olenivka? And this guy survived. And all this time... We were praying, I was praying about this guy. I, I, will, I will not tell you his name because it's confidential. I'm sorry. Um, uh, and I was praying to Jesus and said, Jesus, uh, it's your son. You will come back him home in a way that I couldn't imagine. Why you don't go overseas now? Overseas? Abroad, to ah. Poland. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm married. I love my husband as a person, as, as a man, and I should not leave him in this country. Even there are some women who stay behind and they are in Kharkiv with children and that is risky. And we, we saw cases where they lost their family and said, they said basically do not stay. Why, why would you be so stubborn to come back in an area which has high risk of shelling and you can lose too much? So they just are internally displaced in eastern, in western Ukraine. They move here. I see many people in Lviv, and now they experience the Christmas of traditional Christmas that we typically celebrate in western Ukraine. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. Bye. It's very important for women to maintain regular lifestyle and to do sports to stay calm at this stressful time because it, the stress. This is prolonged war and it builds up the stress in us. Mm. And this is how we can entertain. <laughs>